Hey. Any good? Oh, um, yeah, romantics and um, romanticism. <laughs> yeah, right, yeah. I'll see you around. Bye. Uh. Shit. You're Lucy, right? I think we're in a uh, romantic lit together. Uh... Sorry. <laughs> Bit of a rush. Do you need a hand up? Uh, yeah. uh, here we are. Uh, yeah, I think I'm in most of your other classes too. Do you like need me to call reception, you know? Get an ambulance? Uh no, I don't think so. Um I should I should just go home and put some ice on it. Cool. Yeah. Bye. Oh hey, you forgot your um your Byron book. <laughs> You seem to have hit your head rather severely. Christ on a bike! Who the shitting shit are you? I'm Lord George Byron. How did you get in? You let me in. Are you some nutjob pretending to be a 19th century poet? Good God, no. I'm Lord George Gordon Byron. Mad, bad, and dangerous to know. That one. Any mentalist with a Wi Fi connection and access to Wikipedia knows that. What is this Wi-Fi you speak of? Ah! Don't get hysterical now. I shan't be able to assist you if you faint. I don't seem to have any smelling salts upon my person. Are, are you a ghost? If it makes it easier for you, madame, then yes, I am. I don't understand. What more evidence do you need to be assured that I speak honestly? Would you have me recite my works? <clears throat> and bar dead, as young and fair, as aught of mortal birth. I had a dream which was not all a dream, the bright sun was extinguished, and the stars did wander darkling in the eternal space. Cloudless climes and starry skies, and all its best of dark and bright meet in her aspect and her eyes. And here's one I wrote, and my good friend Milton provided us with some opium. Oh, all right, shut up, shut up, shut up! <clears throat> right. You're the disembodied ghost of Lord Byron, but I don't know what you want, so will you just piss off? Where are you going with such haste? I have lectures! At a university? <laughs> Baffling times these are, where a woman is allowed to attend a place of education. Uh, oh, I will accompany you. Are you too romantically involved? Why would you care? Well, from that answer, I guess not. But you'd like to be. Well, maybe. Have you shared your affections for him? No, not as such. Not yet. I could see that little mouse. You shied away from his gaze like he'd struck you. Mm. I'd like to suggest that you approach him a little more directly. How should I do that? Show him my ankle? A valid suggestion, but a cheap ploy. Standards of sexual transgression have changed a lot nowadays, you know. Most people are free to stick whatever they fancy wherever they like. Wait, so even sodomy is free? Oh, yes. Practically everyone's Horatian nowadays. It's almost fashionable. Madam, <laughs> is that what you're wearing to your lecture? It hardly looks shapely. What's wrong with my dress? <laughs> oh, you can't be serious. I positively am. Look at all that loose and misshapen material. You can barely make out the outline of your figure. It's comfortable like this. Ugh, for pity's sake, comfortable. Ugh. Comfortable is just boring. Comfortable brings to mind my mother and former wife, both abominably boring people, yet still managing to behave like complete lunatics. Look, just leave me alone. I don't have time for this. Fine. I will leave you alone. Let's be smoked by our utter dullness. It's a terrible idea. I can't breathe. There is no beauty without pain. 
I had to starve myself to be this perfect. Will you stop bothering me? I may be bothering you, as you say, but I can't have been that much of a nuisance for you to have put that corset on yourself. But I can't breathe. Well, that really is a problem for the living. Hey, how's that? Oh, um, it's all right. Cool. Have you lost weight? <laughs> no, no, I haven't. Okay. See ya. Well, pretty little mouse got some attention after all. Madam? Maybe you should gaze upon him over a fan. Maybe then you might succeed at finding someone. You know what? Enough of this. I'm just gonna go and ask him out for coffee. Hi. Hey. Um, sorry about before. Oh, it's all right, you know, accidents and that. <laughs> Um, I was thinking, as a way of apologising for nearly putting me in a coma, perhaps you could take me out for coffee sometime. Uh, yeah, okay. <laughs> I did have a mild concussion. It's fair, yeah, <laughs> yeah, okay. Um, tomorrow at 12 o'clock? Yeah, all right, yeah. Right! Most women of my time would have called you a degenerate. Degenerate? That's rich coming from you. I heard that you slept with your sister. Half-sister? It was only a rumour. Yeah, so um, that was Australia, mm -hmm. and then I spent the rest of my gap year in India. India, wow. I've always wanted to go to India. It sounds so beautiful. No, not really. No, it's, uh, it's hot and it smells, so... Okay. intolerant. This could literally kill me. Do you understand what this is? Do you understand what you've done? This is poison to me. You have, you have poisoned me. I'm lactose intolerant. Do you know what that means? I can't eat anything that comes out of a cow. Milk, no. Ice cream, no. I am lactose intolerant, okay? Do you know where soy comes from? Do you understand where soy... Not from a cow. That's why I can eat it. Okay, no, look, look at me, in the eyes, right now. I'm gonna teach you about the differences between soy and the difference between milk, okay? Can, can we do that? Can we do that right now? Is that... Does this have milk in it? Oh, I take it it didn't go too well. Was there something I said? Well, that was a scandalous affair. What with all that storming off and shouting. <laughs> um, I think I might have created a bit of an idea of what he was actually like. It's hard, you know, being alone. I've always felt sort of transparent to other people. Like I'm sort of see through. Perhaps recognition is not the solution. Well, you are the expert. But I am. Professor, I read about you. All of the authors seem to think that you were just some little boy who was ashamed of his club foot and wanted to be loved. Perhaps that is true. Perhaps there lies the problem with all of humanity. I'll bear that in mind, in my dissertation and in life. <laughs> you know, perhaps a midway point between your little mousy ways and mine may be perfect. Mm. You know what? Sorry? Byron, I heard he was a complete wanker. <laughs> Are you in my romantic module? I've switched recently. I'm already regretting it. I've all that talk about meadows.
Do you know what class it's in? Are, are you are you okay? Uh, yeah. I'm just on my way to that class. I could show if you like. Oh, thanks. I'm George, by the way. Oh, of course you are. Sorry? Oh, nothing. I'm Lucy. Are you sure you're okay? You look like you've seen a ghost or something. Yeah, I've just had a weird couple of days. You know, Byron, the thing about him was he was a difficult guy, but I think he was just trying to be noticed. How do you know? Meh. Just a theory.